In this video, we're going to look at how to create a fixed point moment reaction kind of thing in SOLIDWORKS. So the idea would be if you had a, if it was fixed like this, a pure fixed point. So if you drew this in, you know, statics, you'd have, if this is point B, you'd have a B reaction component in the Y direction, you'd have a B reaction component in the X direction, and you would have a reaction moment in the positive moment direction, like that. And these are pretty straightforward. Sum of forces in the x direction is bx is clearly zero. You have sum of forces in the y direction, which is going to be, um, again, really simple, by minus 10, by equals 10. And um, the sum of the moments around b, you're going to have your um, b moment reaction, and then plus, this moment right here, which is 10 times 3, so 30, so a moment reaction of negative 30. So the question is, how could you design this in SOLIDWORKS? So that's what we're going to do. Now we actually used this in another video, but if you don't have it, basically we have a 2x6 sketch, and it has been extruded um, by 1, and we reversed the direction so it was a blind extrusion to the back. Now, if you already have this file, I'm going to recommend saving it as a new file because it's going to mess up the previous simulation that we did. So I'm going to go save as um, boring box fixed. Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, I actually meant to say no. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to delete this old other simulation. Okay, so again, we are, just to confirm, we are in units MKS, and we also have made sure that the SOLIDWORKS simulation has been selected and is actually working. Now, unfortunately, unless you're going to be doing this with beams, SOLIDWORKS does not allow six degrees of freedom in the simulation study. So if you really want something to rotate, you have to turn into a beam and then all kinds of other stuff goes on. But we're trying to do this like a kind of a normal statics problem. So we have to kind of trick SOLIDWORKS a little bit, and it's really not that bad. Uh, we just have to play a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate to the bottom, and you're going to say right-click it, say Normal 2, and then we're going to um, make a sketch. No, I don't want to click that. I want to click this. Sketch. I'm just going to create a rectangle on the bottom. So I'm going to click on the corner, click on the other side. So I have a nice little rectangle. I'm going to Smart Dimension and make it pretty small. I'll just make it at point 0.1, okay? Now, the reason that I'm doing this will be obvious in a minute, <laughs> okay? So just believe me for the moment. Exit the sketch. I'm going to turn this sketch into reference geom... No, sorry, curves. With the sketch still selected over here, I'm going to click split line, okay? I'm going to create a split line, and then that should already be selected in the pink section. Then in the blue section, I'm just going to click the bottom, okay? Now, what this is going to do is if you look now, I've got this little separate section that's different from the total bottom. And we need to do that because you'll see in a minute that's why. All right, the second thing that we need to do is we need to add another piece of reference geometry. So we're going to add a point. Now, this isn't exactly obvious when you first look at it. So um, you want to click on this little button down here. It's the only way I could get it without a whole lot of trouble. I'm going to click the edge, and I'm going to say I want one evenly distributed, and that's going to be my point. Now, I want to call this moment point. So I've got that point on the edge. All right, now on to the study. So I'm going to create a new study under simulation, static simulation, and I'm going to call this fixed point. So I'm excited because I'm hopefully going to get a moment out of this. Now I want to add a force. Right click, add force. This is a um, selected direction force, so I'm just going to click the force point in some random direction until I get the right one. Good. So you look and you just see, is that pointing the way I want it to? If not, select a different thing down here so you could click that one or whatever one you want. But I'm going to click this one, and it's 10, and it's in the right direction, so I don't have to reverse it. Then I'm going to add a fixture. This is actually going to be a fixed geometry. So I'm going to scroll in to make sure that I can select the exact part that I want. Great. Now, oops. If you press F, it'll fill the screen, and then you can, of course, adjust 
division from there. All right, so I've got my moment point. You're like, but I didn't add any reaction moments. That's true. But basically, if I'm pushing down with a force of 10, I've got enough of a support here because it's flat that it's not going to rotate. So if I applied, so in a previous problem or another one that we did, you could apply the fixed geometry to the edge. But if you're just fixed on the edge, then it's going to rotate, 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 and then it's going to crash. So basically the idea is that we are creating a plane that we have fixed. So if we hadn't made that um, special split line and we put in fixed geometry, it would have applied the geometry to the whole bottom, in which case we're not really getting a moment out of it. So that's kind of nice. Okay, now we need to apply a material. Doesn't really matter what at this point because that's not the kind of stuff that we're doing. I'm also going to right click and I'm going to go to properties. Now make sure that large displacement is off and make sure that compute free body forces is on. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hopefully run the study. Beautiful. I don't care about any of this. I'm going to go into the results and I say, show me the result in forces. Now, instead of reaction force, I'm going to specifically look at the free body force. I want the point. So I'm going to click on moment point on the purple section. The blue section, I'm going to select that little um, split line section that we made earlier. And I'm going to hit update. Now, if you update, you see that in the y direction, you have a 10, to 10 Newton reaction force, which we expected. Um, and then here, if you look at the z direction, that you have a negative 30 Newton meter reaction force. So this is exactly what we want. So we can still kind of get the same thing that we're doing in statics in SOLIDWORKS, which is always fun.